Welcome to the Infront Excel add-in tutorial where we will demonstrate the period and dates section of the INFGET function. This third parameter can either be a period or a reference date depending on the field item. For example, if we want to show the net sales for Alphabet Company, then the parameter automatically updates to a period. If we then type in which period we would like to choose from, for example 2017, or any of the preset values on the drop-down list, which are last year, last interim, last 12 months, next 12 months, or you can even request a specific quarter. You will see the results automatically updated at the top of the panel. The second parameter is to display a specified date. In this instance, the closing price on the 1st of January. By choosing the closing price, you will notice that the field item will automatically update with the reference date parameter. You can then preview the result for the closing price for this specified date at the top of the panel. You can see that you are also able to use the drop down menu with preset values such as current week start, current month start, current year start, yesterday and today. The third example is where the field item does not depend on the reference date or the period. In this instance we're going to use the company name. You will now see that the period box is grayed out and nothing can be added. However, the full company name can be previewed at the top of the function panel. The fourth example is where the field item supports both parameters, period and reference dates. Let's use the EPS recurring for 2017. You can see that the result is automatically updated at the top. If we open the advanced parameters again and type in the reference date we are looking for, for example March 31st 2016, the result is automatically updated. As we change the date, the result is updated immediately. Should you have any further questions, please contact support at infrontfinance.com.